part, right? So inflammation, uh, you know, just don't get <laughs> inflammation is kind of easy to do. Oh, yeah. So, you know, inflammation, uh, I understand you have some inflammation on your arm. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, and by the way, I've already done um, greeting, hand washing, gloving up, patient identifiers, and um, explanation. What's that? I, I don't think we can go wrong with doing privacy, but. Uh, I think you do privacy with the. With the occupied bed, right? Because you would do yeah. privacy on your occupied bed. So I think for this we, we can be fine, you know, because because we're not really going to do it. I mean, we may or may not. Yeah. We may or may not have an occupied room or, or uh, you know. A, yeah. So who knows? Um, but okay, so I've already I've already gone through all that. And uh, I've explained to the patient that uh, I understand you have some inflammation in your arm. Doctors ordered some heat therapy. And so the uh, first thing I want to do is just take a look at your arm and uh, see what we've got going on. Are you in any pain? Um, what, uh, you know, on a scale of 0 to 10 from uh, you know, 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst possible pain that you can imagine. Oh, I'm having a 5. Okay, about a 5. Excellent. We'll, we'll want to try and take that down, so we're going to try some heat therapy. Okay. I do see some uh, I do see some redness and swelling here. Uh, doesn't look like there are any open wounds or uh, surgical incisions, anything like that to uh, you know, to be concerned about. Um, have you noticed any uh, anything else that's out of the ordinary on uh, any other parts of your body? Are you no, okay? I just got hit with a big volleyball ball. Okay, okay, excellent, good deal. And has anything changed uh, between right now and the last time the nurse came to your room? No, I'm good. Okay, excellent, sounds good. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, administer some heat therapy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prepare some supplies over here. So I'm going to take out the tea pump. And what we'll want to do is make sure that we put this on the table, not on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why are you doing heat? Why can't I get the cold compress or the well, ice pack? You know, cold will uh, cold will work as well. Uh, one of the things that heat does is to see where your uh, where your arm is uh, is inflamed and swollen. The heat is an expander, so it can kind of loosen up some of that fluid that's uh, that's accumulating in your arm and uh, and get some better circulation going in here. Uh, it also will uh, help, you know, help vaso, uh, vasodilate means to expand your blood vessels. That'll get more blood flowing and help uh, help your body fight the injury and the tissue a little bit better. So, sound acceptable? Okay, good deal. So for this test, uh, dear patient, we do not have a heat pad and a heat pump that are compatible with each other, so we're going to the wonderful world of make-believe, where these two things connect to each other. Um, we're going to want to unwind this, plug it in above the bed up there, next to where the uh, oxygen meter is. And we're going to want to verify the water level right here, make sure that there's enough distilled water in there uh, to provide the um, the heat therapy. Uh, looks like the level is good. And we're going to want to go ahead and turn this on and select the temperature. We can go up to 107 degrees here. So now that all of that is going, that this is connected, and we have, uh, we want to make sure that the hot water is flowing nicely, and it is, so we will go ahead and wrap this around. Um, we don't need, there's already a barrier here between the pack and the skin, so we don't need to wrap a towel around that. We can uh, take the arm here, and we'll want to make sure that this is wrapped nicely around here. Okay, and uh, let's see, Jonathan, can you tell me whether we are taping this in place? Uh, for the hot rate. Right? right, yeah. For the, Did you already the, provide it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's on. Uh, I've wrapped it up. Okay, you stir Sterile technique, use hand hygiene, apply syrup gloves, pick one layer in the nurse cars, and then you just take a second. Tools are the tools, or it should be with them.
and always to like, I'm going to raise a bit. Did you cover the moist compress with a sterile dressing? I'm sorry. Uh, back, uh, this, this particular individual doesn't have any, uh, okay. any incisions or uh, compromised skin integrity. Apply aquaphermia waterproof heating pad over a towel. Optional. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's not what I said that. Yeah. Yeah. And you said you wanted to. Well, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering about attaching this to the arm or to the like. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really uh, stick on itself. I mean, I suppose that the individual could, you know, pull, but I, I don't feel comfortable with that, especially since this is going to be full of water. And it's not going to be. It doesn't say anything about that here. Okay, Ed, what's your opinion on that? Taping this up or or what? How, how are we going to get this to stay? Because it's warm. And the adhesive would be on the... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he did. Um, and this actually, I asked him about. I asked him about the tape in the ice. Yeah, but it's not. You're gonna take it off in 20 minutes. Well, you can try to help. Tell him to I just want to make sure that it does not fall when. I think these tapes are made. For these kind of what are you talking about here? Oh, well, I just asked him about cold and, and taping it up, and he just said, you know, just tape it like this and make sure it doesn't fall off. And, we, and is the patient going to be mobile? Because if they're not moving, that's, that's not going to happen. Right, and I don't know, maybe they maybe it, they lift this up to change the, the top part warm? The channel, and what's that? Everything the top is part? warm. Uh, uh, this, everything would be warm. Yeah, not so much, not water just warm, water warm, everything. Yeah, so. I would just do it anyways. Let me see the tip. Let me ask you. What do you want to ask you? Yeah, yeah, uh, I guess pause it and yeah. Uh, we're